Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Adobe Live. I'm super excited because we have a very special stream today celebrating AAPI Heritage Month. If we're just meeting, my name is Katrina Torrijos and I am the Adobe Express Evangelist and I'm also a content creator and Twitch streamer on this side. So I just want to say hello to folks in chat. Hi Nika, welcome to the stream. Hi Abuka on YouTube, hello. I'm watching all three chats today, so feel free to go ahead and just uh, type out your comments, your hellos, your greetings. How's it going? Hi Clever, welcome to the stream. Hi Creative Nomad on YouTube. Hello, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm really excited because today is a very, very special because <laughs> someone who is a Filipino AAPI Heritage Month means so much to me because it is the one month that we get to celebrate all of the contributions to Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders in um, the U.S. Um, hello, Howard. Welcome to the stream. Oh my gosh, now I'm nervous. Now I'm nervous because Howard's here. <laughs> Okay, um, so for today's uh, project, we're actually going to be creating an event flyer today um, for, t for the Heritage Month celebration, um, but we're going to be using um, flowers and foliage that are popular in some of these regions. So I'm gonna go ahead and go share my screen. Oh my gosh, I, spoilers, oh my gosh, spoilers. <laughs> So that was a sneak peek of what we're gonna do, but we're actually gonna learn how to create um, that design from scratch. Hi, Digital Art Drew, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Okay, so we're in Express today, but if you're seeing this for the first time, you can get here by going to express.adobe.com and it is completely free to get started. We also have an app for iOS and Android, um, so go ahead and check those out. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch, so we're going to go to, let's do poster, and we're going to pull up this... Um, what's it called, a blank project here, and then we'll actually start with the background and then move on. <laughs> Nika, <laughs> lol, I'm outnumbered by mods. Oh yeah, we're mod balling right now. Can we turn down the background music? Yeah, no worries. Give me one second, I didn't even realize it was that loud. Oops, my bad. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with the background. Um, so for, oh sorry, not backgrounds. We're gonna start with a photo. We're gonna go to the photo tab here. And then, so when I think of Asian culture, like one of the images that come to mind are palm leaves. There's a lot of palm trees and, <laughs> and uh, lots of foliage in um, particularly Southeast Asia. Um, and then growing up Filipino, we actually ate from banana leaves. So, <laughs> um, so that's, it's, um, what's it called? The, when we eat from banana leaves, usually it's in like a celebration. It's called a uh, kamayan and it's basically, we put like different foods and stuff and like we'll eat with our hands and then it's like on the table. It's like banana leaves. That's supposed to be like, uh, the tablecloth. So, um, let's look up palm leaves okay so we're just going to find a background let's see this one looks pretty good <clears throat> hi sean welcome to the stream okay so we have this background here and we're going to actually snap it to the background layer so we're going to go to add to background um anika how is the background music is it good is it a little low let me know hi Richard welcome to the stream how's it going okay so we have the leaves here awesome and then it, now we're going to put like a gradient over it because when I put like text and words over this flyer we're actually going it, it's going to be a little bit distracting in a way like the contrast will be a bit a bit high so Let's see, um, let's go maybe backgrounds and then we'll look up gradients. Okay, so we have a bunch of these different gradients here, but I'm looking for one that can be easily blended in. Let's see. We're going to approach gradients in a different way. Usually I'll pull it from um, stock photos 
but this time we're pulling in from the backgrounds tab and then we're actually going to edit it a little bit. Um, okay, I think let's go with this one. Okay, stay with me here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this background looks great. Okay, so we're going to just add it as a layer on top. And we're gonna actually bring down the opacity here. And then, so this is another way to go like about um, with gradient backgrounds. Cause usually I'll just stop and adjust the opacity, but we're actually gonna add a filter to it and change the color like such. So the reason why we're doing this is because I really like how the, um, what's it called? The gradient is arranged with like the darker colors on the sides and then, you know, a little bit, um, what's it called? It gets a little lighter in the middle. So, you know, if we see all the crazy gradients, like the really bold and vibrant ones at the top here, sometimes that'll be a little bit hard to add a filter to. But if you choose a gradient, that's like maybe like one or two colors, but there's a clear, like bright color. And then there's one um, that's a lot darker. It'll be easier to apply the duotone effect, which only affects like the highlights and the shadows. So we're just going to adjust the colors to what we want and then we'll make two variations today we I have an hour with you all today so um, you can get a second variation in okay so something like this <clears throat> okay so now we can move on to the words um, so let's actually add a shape to put our words in so going into the shapes tab we're gonna click on this arch and make it big a little maybe a little smaller than this and then we're gonna make it just a little bit taller there you go <clears throat> okay and then we're gonna turn on the border and then turn off the fill and then adjust the border thickness like such yay Okay, and then now we can put in our words, our text. So we're gonna go to the text tab, click add your text. We'll pop it over here and then it'll say, what should it say? Asian, Amer okay, why is it? Okay, I'm typing in all caps, a little aggressive. Asian, American, and Pacific Islander heritage month celebration <laughs> this is a really long title but that is okay i actually learned recently that we added um, native hawaiian to this title so instead of um, aapi it's now aanhpi so we are recognizing those folks as well <clears throat> okay and then for the font, we're actually gonna take a look at the font recommendations and see what's available. This is nice. I like this one. Dang, got it on the first try. Okay. Okay, cause sometimes I do have to like look a little bit and kind of scroll, but we did it. Okay, so we could do yeah, we could leave that like such, and then we'll put a second piece of text. Oh, there's a hair in my face. <laughs> we could put a second piece of text here that says kind of what our event will be about. <clears throat> Maybe we'll do a bold, Leto bold. Oops. Move in the background. Oh no. I'm gonna make this a little smaller here. We're gonna pop this over here. Oh, that's fancy. It is a fancy text. Yes. If that's what you guys are talking about. <laughs> Hi, Ragged Edge. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Uh, what were we saying? Oh, okay. Join us for a celebration of 
of full I'm really bad at descriptions on the fly full of good food music and dancing yay maybe I'll make this a little bit more specific actually no this is okay this is okay. for flyers the less words the better if you forget anything on the graphic put it in the caption <laughs> Okay, so we have this, and then now we can decorate! Yay, the fun part! Okay, so we're gonna go into photos, and then we're gonna put a bunch of flowers and foliage here. Oh, palm leaves is already up here. So we could start with that. So let's go ahead and look for a couple palm leaves. Like this one looks pretty good. Um, let's see, I really like the ones that are like with the white background because I know that when remove background hits, it will just be super clean, like this. Just gonna hit remove background. And boom, yay! How does the cutout look? Fantastic, of course. Okay, so we're just gonna move this, and then maybe we'll rotate it. We'll, 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 we'll be messing around with this quite a bit when we arrange. Okay, here we go. And then maybe I'll duplicate this and then add it to this part right here. <clears throat> okay, and then maybe let's go ahead and grab another one. So a couple more, oh, this one's nice. Different palm leaves. Okay, you could just layer this on top right here. Maybe we'll put it at the bottom layer. So I'm gonna click this, you can drag it to the bottom. I don't know which leaf it was, but <laughs> we'll put it under both. Okay, just to give it a little bit more foliage at the top. And then let's add our first flower. So one of the most popular flowers in um, at least Southeast Asia is uh, the hibiscus flower. I see that flower everywhere. The hibiscus flower. <laughs> I have like spelling, is this right? <laughs> okay, so I have a bunch here. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. And there's this one. Oh, there's so many choices. Oh no, I'm not good with choices. Okay, I like this one. Oh, this one's so pretty. And this one too. Oh, I like the colors on this one. It, ha it also has leaves, so extra points. <clears throat> Remove background is such a lifesaver. It really is. It really, really is. I love this thing so much. Uh, it's probably the most used feature in my Express. Like, I wish there was like analytics in <laughs> Adobe Express where it tells you what are, what were like the hot spots when um, using it. Mine definitely would be remove background. It would definitely also be blend mode and opacity. In terms of the left hand side, um, yes, photos, stock photos. Um, I think that's it. That's really that comes to mind. Maybe add to background. I use this a lot as well. Okay, so we can add this. And then let's add another one. Oh my gosh. Choices. Okay, I think I really like the three because, okay, let's see if this one works. Cause it gets a little tricky over here. Oh no, it did it. Did great, A plus. I could put this here. And maybe we could rotate a bit. And then from there, we could just space out the leaves a little more. Oops. Okay. So 
that takes up a bit more. Nice. Okay. Cool. And then last thing, we do have like a really awkward space right here. I don't know. I feel like it could it could use a little more. So we're actually going to put in maybe a shape. So like, let's say an organization is putting on this event or something. A gr this would be an amazing place to put a logo. This is all I'm gonna say. But um, let's <laughs> let's pretend. Um, let's see, maybe let's put like a wave or something or even like a shape. If you don't have a logo, that's totally fine. Just put like a little shape. Maybe I'll be specific. Ocean wave. <clears throat> love the contrast between the hibiscus and the palm. Yes, right? I love like the pop of color. It's great. Oh, these are nice. Is it me or has the shapes gotten a lot more um, intricate. <laughs> oh, I like this one too. Again, choices. Oh, and this. Ah, it's always my struggle with Adobe Express. The choices. Oh, this one's cute too. <laughs> okay, I think I want to do something with a little bit. Uh, with the lines that are a bit more bold just because I'm being very conscious of like these fine lines right here and how they could possibly get lost in the background so maybe something like this there are so many fab shapes now yes creative nomad I love the shapes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So we have our first iteration of our project done. Oh, actually, <laughs> before I forget, let's uh, name our project because I don't know if you follow me on Twitter. Uh, I called myself out saying I never name my projects. I have dubbed the nickname uh, My Project Menace. <laughs> um, so this will be AAPI Liar. Sounds great. Okay, so now we are going to do a second version of this flyer, but we're going to change up some of the colors, maybe some of the flowers to, you know, just do a different variation. Okay, so starting off with the background, let's change it up and let's do, uh, what color should we do? This one looks cool, the pink and yellow. This looks nice. And then we can even change up the brightness on this. Can we get a brighter color? Maybe the saturation? Maybe adjust the highlights a bit. <clears throat> All right. So we adjusted the colors just a little bit. Huh. Actually, I'm thinking maybe this yellow might be too strong. Maybe. We can make an orange. There you go, something like that. It's a bit more like golden in the middle. Okay. So let's switch out the flowers. So let's get rid of this one. Let's get rid of this one. I'll leave the leaves for now, but we'll we'll see what happens. Untitled 20034555544. <laughs> My project 999, I feel that. Uh, Creative Nomad on YouTube said, I'm exactly the same. Everything is my project. I'm trying. Oops, my bad. Uh, I'm trying to change. <laughs> oh, man. So we are all my project menaces in this chat. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's see. Um, What are we doing again? Oh, switching the flowers. Okay. 
So we are going to switch it up. Um, okay, so another common flower in, uh, I believe in particular this one is in India. We're gonna pick out a lotus flower today. Ah, so pretty. There's so many beautiful lotus painters. I, okay, I believe in my entire life, I've probably only seen maybe like two lotus flowers in real life. And now let me tell you, in real life, <laughs> these flowers are so unreal, okay? Like they are so pretty and they look just not real. <laughs> Oh man. Okay. This one's cute. I like this one. Let's see. I'm trying to see which ones will remove cleanly. Like I know these ones will for sure. But we are challenging ourselves today. Okay, maybe this one. Uh remove background. Okay, give me two seconds. I need to blow my nose. It's running. My nose is running. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what it is. I just, right before the stream, I started getting major allergies. And my nose is super ticklish <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, maybe I want to edit this. Leaf. Make it a little darker and then let's dull the highlights a bit. And then maybe a little bit of the saturation. I ran off the stream. Too many flowers. I know, right? Too many flowers. Too much pollen. <laughs> uh, Grandpa calls it hay fever. <laughs> okay, so we have the lotus flower here. And then next, um, another popular flower in Japanese culture is cherry blossoms. So we'll put some of that in there. Cherry Awesome. And then let's let's actually get it on a branch. So we can have like a nice, you know, little branch coming out of here. Um okay, this one is a challenge for Express because the branches are really, really fine. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> it is the pollen, it is the flowers. <laughs> Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's remove the background off of this and let's see how it does. <laughs> awesome. Okay, cool. So we have this flower here and I think we can get rid of this palm leaf. Maybe we can leave this. We'll see, just so we can have a bit more contrast with the background. <clears throat> okay. Let's do something like this. And then we'll sprinkle in another flower here. Um, Mm -hmm. Maybe a jasmine flower? Let's see. I'm thinking, uh, let's see, ja either a jasmine flower or maybe even a uh, pumeria. <clears throat> jasmine flower. Oh, we have pumerias right here. Aww, I like this. This one's cute. Okay. 
Okay. And then there we can just sprinkle on around because, oh, I gotta sneeze so bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we can sprinkle this on just here, or since it's really small. <clears throat> Maybe something like this, perhaps. Let me just look at it. Gosh, I did it again. Oh my gosh, every time I need to like zoom out of, of, <laughs> of a project, I like physically zoom out and like step back. <laughs> Does anyone else do that? If you are like working on something and then to see the full picture. Instead of zooming out your screen, you just zoom out your person. <laughs> okay, maybe something like this. Oh, that works. Okay. All right, so now we have these two variations. And then, so these are in the flyer dimension. So the next step is to resize for social. Hi, Sam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, Howard, oops, I did it again. <laughs> oh, no. Now that song's going to be stuck in my head. Oh, no. Um, Anika says, yes, always. I think it's a good practice to, to physically zoom out of your, of your design or <laughs> to use this zoom here, here. Okay. Um, so now we're going to resize these for social. Um, so let's, okay. This part is, is what makes me nervous. Let's group this because sometimes you just never know where you're design's gonna go when you hit resize so we're just gonna group this just in case and then i actually learned this tip from jordan i used to just resize and then kind of just you know <laughs> just you know let express do its thing and then I'll, I'll fix it later but she actually groups all the assets she wants in one place um and then resizes so that things just don't fly off to like different parts of the canvas <laughs> the second one is so nice oh thank you so much sean thank you earworm what is earworm why not both what do you mean why not both also is it me or is chat delay insane today um okay instagram portrait yeah why not why not okay see it retained its uh its layout so that all we have to do is just, boop, just like that. And we're done. <laughs> and then now let's duplicate this again. And then now let's resize this. Okay, let's do story. We always need a story. So for this, you can just easily just drag this to the corners and then we will have to do a little bit of rearranging here so starting with the shape I'm just gonna make this a bit longer and then you can just move the assets as such and then people I know some folks have asked me like um, why can't Adobe Express just automatically detect use some ai magic of what canvas is it, uh, this is and just auto optimize all the assets well sorry i need to wipe my nose um it's because honestly what is the fun in one what is the fun in that when you can reimagine your design for a different dimension yourself and two I've said, okay, this is a new thing that I've been saying in my demos, okay? So, <laughs> um, 
Oh gosh. Okay. I don't know if I should share this. No, I'll share this. I share this. I think it's fun. Um, <laughs> but a new thing that I've been saying in my demos when I do live events and stuff is that when designing for social, um, just like eyebrows, your designs should be sisters, not twins. <laughs> so it can have the same design elements and stuff like that. But, you know, while they are on brand and cohesive, when designing for social, your graphics should not look exactly the same because different platforms have different dimensions and different things that your audience will be receptive to. So <laughs> um, that's why it's a, just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Um, okay, never gonna give you up. Oh no, Glover! <laughs> Why? Fronda Ferns, yes. <laughs> okay, I get it. The same vibe, but not identical, yes. And that was a saying that I was taught, like, <laughs> Growing up, when I was learning how to do my eyebrows, <laughs> my sisters would just be like, Kat, they're not supposed to look exactly the same. Because <laughs> faces are not really um, symmetrical. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay. So we have this logo. Bring this up. Yeah, and it's not just design elements that you should consider changing, but it's also certain call to actions. Like, um, you know, for Instagram, there's like the link sticker, or you could do a link in bio, or if it's Twitter, you can uh, uh, already put a hyperlink in the post, you know? Same thing for Facebook and for LinkedIn. Um, I think, you know, should really design with the platform in mind and how the audience behaves on certain platforms we could do this and then maybe we'll add in like a oops rsvp below <clears throat> and then we could put like a little thing for the sticker so to put like a little marker i also like to do this too is I'll go into basic shapes, go into this rounded square or rectangle, and then I'll make this white, and then lower the opacity, and then I'll put like a little placeholder here for the link sticker. And then I'll try to make it actually a little bit smaller because I feel like for link stickers, I haven't really tested how small you can get it or how big it goes, but I know you can like, you know, pretty much resize it. Um, so for this marker, I mean, I wouldn't do anything super ginormous like this, but I mean, you could put it in the center, but it'll be fine. But sometimes I'll like actually make it a bit smaller so that in the event that the sticker <laughs> does not pan out or it's like a lot bigger, I will just plop it on top of this and even then I think I would make the opacity just a little bit small or not smaller a little bit more or less oh my gosh what is words this morning just so oh my gosh I moved this I moved it uh just so it could easily be covered up by the link sticker No, <laughs> this is just answered. I thought Kachin was going to drop some sneaks. No, no, no. I could never. I could never. Howard, you are the sneak king. Okay, a lot of <laughs> a lot of the sneaks I actually learned from you on your Twitter. Your Twitter is a gold mine for sneaks. Okay, so we have this. And then the last thing we are going to create is, what are you going to do? Twitter. Twitter. Speaking of Howard's Twitter, we're going to make something for Twitter. So we're going to do this. We're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to shift click to unselect the gradient background. Going to group it. 
And we're going to resize. And we're going to let Adobe Express take the wheel. There we go. Oh, man. Big background. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Oh, on YouTube, SD said, hey, Katrina. Uh, text and shape can be in a dark cream color. Oh, dark cream color. We can try that out. Okay, so we have this background here. So let's actually flip it. Oh, that's another way to make the graphic look different. I didn't do it in the last two, but you can flip around any gradients to, again, make your graphic look like sisters, not twins. Okay, here we go. So now we can ungroup all of this. Okay, this one's a little tricky with the shape, okay? Because it's landscape, we actually have to stretch it out like such. Or you could get rid of the shape too. That's totally fine. We can honestly get rid of the shape or even change it up. So we can, yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Why not we change it? Let's, let's switch it up. So let's go to shapes and then let's do this sharpened rectangle. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what the name is. I mean, I guess this is called a regular rectangle. Hold on. I just thought of it. <laughs> I guess it's called a regular rectangle. It's just because there's the rounded rectangle. Why not a sharpened rectangle? <sighs> oh my goodness. I have not had coffee this morning or any food. <laughs> a bit loopy today. Okay. So let's bring this down to three. Um, <laughs> I sure hope my designs look better than my eyebrows. Howard! You have great eyebrows. Stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, here we go. We have to bring this to uh, not the bottom layer, but just so that we don't accidentally select it. Okay, now we're going to take these flowers gonna make them bigger eh. my bad maybe this time I'll let it run off the edge in the past designs I was kind of I wasn't letting like, uh, the photos run off the edge so maybe this is the time Mm -mm. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this one down here. <laughs> I love this. Oh my goodness, rectangle! <laughs> I came in like, oh no, oh man. <laughs> we need like an Adobe Live playlist, but like with these actual words. <laughs> okay. I feel like I can also make the leaves a bit bigger because the graphic is wider. There's a lot more room to work with here. Okay. So we could do this. We can get rid of this link sticker. And then... Can even... Oh! A nose. And don't worry, we're gonna get to the second graphic soon. It's just this is the we're laying it out right now. <laughs> we're doing the we're doing the groundwork before we move on. Okay. Maybe something like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's easy to read. 
I can make this a tiny bit smaller. And then the line it up. Like that. And then RSVP below. Is it me or is... For Twitter, does the graphic go on? T it's at the bottom, right? The graphic's on the bottom of the tweet. Someone let me know. RSVP with the link. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do that. And then. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Now we have a Twitter graphic. And now we have these three. Oh my gosh. I am a dummy. This is. Ah. <laughs> I did not resize. Ugh, I overwrote the uh, the poster. That's okay. That's okay. Go. Let's. <laughs> Y'all see nothing. You see nothing. Wait, is this grouped already? Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Makes our job easier. Resize. Back to poster. We are saved. Yeah, more or less. We look like this. Okay. Cool. All right, so we did our first iteration of this flyer and now we do the second okay so what was our first one that we did oh the first step that we did is we need to group this and then unselect the background then we duplicate and not overwrite the original project because that would be a <laughs> disaster control z fixes everything yes i try to control z like with everything even if it doesn't seem right. <laughs> like I will control Z on Google sometimes. Like if I'm typing in the search bar or, you know, if I'm writing something on a, like, I don't know, maybe like the sticky notes app or something. And I usually control Z works on most things, most things. And I get super sad when it doesn't. Uh, what was I doing this for? Oh. We are doing this for Instagrams. Okay. Oh no. Oh, this was not grouped. Oh goodness. Okay, we're gonna group this. Do that. Make this bigger. I really like this one a lot. This one speaks to my soul. Okay. Cool, All right? This looks slightly, it's slightly to the left a little bit. So let's just nudge this over. This is, <laughs> we're honestly just eyeballing now. Okay, this looks great. And then next, Gonna do this again. See how quickly, oh, I messed up. Oh no. Everything says dancing. That's kind of silly. Okay. Adobe Express has jump scared me one too many times. I am not surprised anymore when that happens. <laughs> you should, I should really make a compilation of um, my reactions on my Twitch streams every time Express tries to jump scare me because <laughs> it happens quite often it's pretty funny and then i'll like refresh or go back to a page and come back like i just did and then it'll be like nothing happened nothing to see here <laughs> okay so i'm gonna fix this and then similar to what we did just gotta ungroup this <clears throat> there you go it's centered bring this down okay 
<laughs> Footloose and fancy free. Yes. Okay. You put this here. Put that there. Maybe we can make this a little bigger. I put this there. <clears throat> okay, and then taking this shape, we'll put this up. So yeah, I'm so glad we did the groundwork for everything because now doing the second round of flyers, which is great because if you have two versions of a fly flyer, um, it's just easy to do once you've done the first graphic. Mm -mm -mm. And we add a shape. We did the rounded rectangle. <clears throat> Oops. Oh no. Refresh. Do it again. Okay, where did we leave off? <clears throat> oh, doing the story. Okay, let's do the story. Three size, story. So we're going to adjust this. And then recenter. What else did we do? We just move this here. <clears throat> Sweet. And then bring this down, bring this up. We're just gonna zoom past like this next, <laughs> this next uh, flyer. There you go. Boom, yay. And then next we add shapes. Can do the rounded rectangle, it's the uh-oh. Oh no, portion of the stream. <laughs> I always wonder if other streamers um, that do express experience the same thing. <clears throat> or if I'm I the only one that just goes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Let me redo this again. White opacity 20. Bring this down here. Do it like this. And there we go. Actually, let me move this up because it is not centered in the shape. <clears throat> and there you go. Sweet. Okay, and then. Moving on. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Did I forget? I forgot how to. I looked at my uh, um, keyboard and I was like, how do I select all again? Does control A work? <laughs> Resize. And Twitter. And then, let's move this, rotate, and then, boom, here we go. 
There you go. Oh, this one's so pretty. Okay, let's ungroup this. And then taking the shape, gonna stretch it out. Oh, this is when we changed it into a rectangle, a, a sharp rectangle, a pointy rectangle. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like with the rounded edge. I think it also looks pretty cool, but let's just resize all of the assets here. I really like, I've been really loving taking objects from the stock photo collection and then removing the background and kind of making my own design assets, if you know what I mean. Like sometimes I'll want like a flower sticker or a gold star sticker. And then sometimes um, I'll want it to be like a little bit realistic. So I'll actually get the stock photo version of it and remove the background um, because sometimes the stickers and design assets aren't as realistic as I'd like them to be. So if you're ever in that situation where you want to find like maybe stickers or leaves, flowers that are a bit more realistic looking, definitely go to the stock assets, the, the stock photos. <clears throat> oh. Where is the layer? Okay, and then now can resize this another way that you could also do this process a bit faster is to just copy and paste from oh oh no from the um previous graphic so if you select everything in there like all of this text and stuff like that hit copy and then paste it here um it should paste uh the same styles and font size and everything so if you want to be even more consistent than me, you really want to go for the twin effect, <laughs> the twin look um, for the, your graphic, then consider doing it that way. <clears throat> okay. Okay, cool. Awesome, okay, now zooming out now. This is all of the graphics that we have made, but we are not at the final step yet. Let's click on one of these and we can actually schedule it to social. So if you're brand new here and you're watching, either you're tuning in now or on the replay, Adobe Express has a built-in content scheduler and it's amazing. So um, all we had to do is just click that little uh, calendar icon on the top right corner and then toggle which accounts we want to post to. Now, since this is Instagram, we'll select Instagram and then we will put in a caption. Um, so we could say something like Sella Rate AAPI Heritage Month <clears throat> with us. And then, you know, I'll put a link, I don't know, something like that. And we could put a hibiscus flower on here. So, hibiscus, there you go. And then since I'm Filipino, actually, let's actually, let's do some Filipino lessons today. Um, word of the day is mabuhay, and that is a greeting in Tagalog that means live. It's almost like cheers. So um, y'all learned a new word today, mabuhay. Okay, hi, Umacorn, welcome to the stream. And then from there, you can also schedule your first comment. Um, and then you can also preview the post so you could see what it looks like in the live preview. Here's a, what it'll look like on Facebook. Um, and then my browser froze. So we're just gonna, <laughs> just gonna admire the Facebook preview really quick. Okay, here we go. And then um, here is what it'll look like on Twitter. And this is great to catch any last minute mistakes or formatting issues, typos, all of that stuff. Um, just a final check before you hit the publish date, the go live, you can even draft the post if you want, and then you add it to the calendar. And you can also look at it from a weekly view. It's amazing. If you have not used Scheduler yet, highly, highly recommend 
you check that out. But with that, that's pretty much it for the stream. I hope you all enjoyed and got some inspiration today. And thank you so much for hanging out with me and celebrating API Heritage Month. It means so much to me. And yes, with that, thank you all so much. Um, stick around for more streams throughout the day. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.